Okay, stepping off the ground. There we go, door closed. This one's for uh, Anthony. Anthony uh, B Dog um, left a question for me in the forum asking about getting a job in Japan. Anthony uh, aspires, as many uh, that I've talked to on the forum and elsewhere do, they aspire to come and live and work in Japan. Certainly an admirable goal, one I certainly recommend. Lots of things, lots of good things can happen in your life if you uh, go after that. And so Anthony was asking about uh, uh, education and uh, what kind of a degree might be necessary to get a start over here. And I think I'll go ahead and uh, try to answer that on video format, for the, for hopefully for the benefit of others. And uh, uh, <clears throat> here we go. Basically, I'm thinking of what my dad once told me when I went off to college. He said, hey, Kurt, your uh, degree will get you your first job. You're on your own from there. And that's excellent advice. Basically, putting the emphasis uh, more on character and uh, the continual acquisition and, and search for knowledge than uh, the actual piece of paper itself. But uh, in Japan, oh, there goes the bullet train. See it right up there on the bridge? Catching it a lot on video today. Um, and uh, that is that point really well, suits well for Japan. In Japan, um, it's everything, everything is about. Um, <clears throat> having the credential and uh, when it comes to getting a job as an English teacher you need uh, at least a four-year BA, BA or BS degree and it really doesn't matter what subject it's in although if it's in education uh, specifically in English in uh, teaching uh, languages loud bike <clears throat> if it's in uh, one of those fields you're, you're in better shape you'll have an edge over those who are just uh, you know studying anything else but as long as you have that degree, and it needs to be a four-year degree, not necessarily a two-year degree, those typically won't cut it. Um, that's not, as far as I know, this is not a uh, government uh, statute or anything like that. It's just the, uh, it's just the, the, the state of status quo here that uh, schools typically don't hire, hire foreigners unless they're degreed. Now there may be a law uh, governing that, but I'm not sure. So once you have your degree, get that four-year degree in hand, and you're ready to go. The next thing you need after that is to uh, get yourself a job. And uh, the way you can do that is, uh, the best way to do that is to begin searching the, uh, the, the boards, the, uh, the websites, and uh, maybe applying to the JET program. And uh, if you're an American, or the, uh, something like the British Council, if you're a Brit, or whatever your country may have, an official uh, um, cultural exchange relationship organization with uh, Japan. And that's a great way to get started. Now. Once you have your degree and once you've found your first job, and your first job will probably be what, um, an Aikawa type of job, working in uh, you know, the uh, language schools like Nova or something like that, paying around uh, 250,000 yen a month. And I'm terrible with the conversion. Everybody <laughs> has noticed in the last couple of days. I can't do it worth a darn, so I won't try to convert that. Well, that's about your monthly salary, but you get usually get a hotel, I mean a, uh, an apartment allowance, and uh, some other perks that go with it as well. But once you get to over here and you get that job, and uh, this is where the uh, um, personality and your character and your continued effort to improve yourself will come in. If you once you have that job, if you continue to demonstrate character and. Uh, a good work ethic and you're a likable person, a person that doesn't cause uh, undue, unnecessary problems, you're going to find yourself advancing quickly in that organization if it's large enough to have an advancement anywhere to advance to. And uh, otherwise you'll find yourself finding opportunities elsewhere. And uh, the way that to find jobs, the better jobs in your community, is typically to um, uh, have connections with other people. You'll find jobs are sometimes listed elsewhere, but the very best jobs are typically are never listed. There goes the bullet train again. You can hear it. There it goes. Sometimes, most, typically, the very best jobs are not uh, never come on the market, and it's word of mouth stuff. So uh, get yourself some friends. Um, keep those friends, uh, establish a network of, uh, of, friend, of connections that you're going to have, and you're going to find that opportunities are going to be coming your way. Some of the uh, more favorable jobs, at least according to those that I know who have worked here, are typically with um, 
uh, educational institutions like elementary schools, high schools, junior high schools, and typically the very best jobs in terms of pay, benefits, uh, working conditions are at the university level. This is the kind of job where you're getting yourself in your own office and you're, uh, you're whoa, there goes the bullet train again. See how fast these things run? They're running fast. I mean, they're running in terms of intervals. And once you have a job like that, you're going you're to have a, a nice, pretty nice position. You can even get tenured. I know I have a friend here in Shizuoka who's a tenured university professor. Uh, he speaks Japanese very well. And in that position, he's required to publish papers. Yeah, publish or perish type of a deal. And uh, he's got a nice tenured position. Bought himself a nice house. Has his family, the whole kit and caboodle. Took him some years to get up to that point. Japanese proficiency is very, very helpful at that level. And if you want to work in a university, you're going to need a master's degree. You're going to need a master's degree in uh, education, preferably. And I was told by one university professor I knew that uh, um, it wasn't even really having the degree. It was just being enrolled in the degree program was sometimes enough. He got a, his university, his professor job, professorship, after he enrolled in a master's program, even before he had the degree. See, that's all about, sometimes it's all about those numbers. After a while, after you've been here for a while and you know people enough, you'll find that jobs will come available and they won't even be asking for your degree. My current position, I've got a pretty good job, very good job, actually, at the, uh, at the high school, I mean at the elementary school. And I won't go into any details, but I'm basically a regular teacher there for the most part. Um, I'm an assistant teacher, but I'm in terms of, I'm not, it's not a contract, I'm there. And uh, they never even asked me for my degree. So, <laughs> go figure. So there you go. That, that, hey, that's further word about my father's suggestion that uh, the degree will get you your first job. Your character will take you from there. Am I tooting my own horn? I guess that sounds like I am, and I don't want to do that. So let's watch this train instead. Not the bullet train. <laughs> That's the JR trunk line. Full of passengers. Whoa, see that big spark? Full of, oh, it goes the bullet train, too. Whoa, we had two trains at once. They're fast and furious tonight. Well, we're seven minutes into it. Anthony, I hope I've uh, answered your questions. Let's go this way. I hope I've answered your questions and given you some ideas about coming to Japan. Get out there, get that degree, then, then, then start find, looking for a job. Contact Molly and I. I'm volunteering Molly to, 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 as well for any um, tips and pointers. He knows more than I do, vastly more than I do. I wish he was here to walk with me now. And uh, it'd be fun just to have him for any reason. And uh, then when you're over here, Come to Shizuoka, my Anthony. Come on down. There's plenty of room. Then you can uh, party with Molly and I. That would be cool. Okay, well, that's I'm going to sign off for now, friends. You all have a great day and a great week, and make it a great year. Hey, remember, today's a special day. It's, it's a magic day. It's 11111. That's right. It's January 11th, 2011. If you're into those uh, numbers games, that's got to be something special. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye.